And welcome to another episode of Curtain Call Conversations. I am here with Lynn Paul, who is currently out on tour with Calendar Girls. Welcome, Lynn. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? Yes, I'm very well, thank you. Um, you're in Birmingham at the moment, which is my hometown. I hope oh. you're having a lovely time. Are you enjoying the city? We, we certainly are. We went out last night to a Greek restaurant called Santorini, which was amazing. We were plate smashing and ah. did Greek dancing. It was just wonderful. We go there every time we come to uh, Birmingham. Yeah, Stopping really today in the bull ring and uh, Vietnamese lunch. So what more could you ask for? Wow, you're having an excellent time. And, and how's the yeah. show going for you? It's going really well. It's going really well. Yeah, yeah, lovely audiences, very receptive, very responsive. So it's, um, you know, it's a joy. Beautiful. I mean, I did come and see the show in Cheltenham um, last Friday, actually, with my girlfriends, right. and we absolutely loved it. It was so wonderful to see it on stage again. Um, I think oh, it's, a, it's a slightly different version, I would say, than versions that I've seen before, um, which I loved about it. I thought it was great to see everybody's character looked into a little bit more. Can you can you sort of tell us who you're playing in the in the show? I play um, Jesse, who is the school teacher, um, and we were very lucky actually. While we were in Windsor, we actually got to meet Beryl Bamforth, who was the original teacher in the original oh. um, Calendar Girls in Yorkshire. So um, it was quite an honour to meet her. She was wonderful for her age, I have to say. Yeah. So I play the teacher, uh, supposed to be straight laced, and uh, but I'm having far too much fun. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is such a fun show. And of course, we all know, you know, the film and people have probably seen the show before that you do strip off. I mean, you know, a lot. you must have a lot of confidence between you to do that. I mean, it's done so tastefully, obviously. Um, but I mean, yes. how do you feel doing that every night? Well, when we, when we were first approached, we were, you know, would we do it? Uh, when I was first approached, they said, you do know that there will be a scene where you have to take clothes off. Mm. And I said, yeah, I'm fine, that's not a problem. And then we went, got into rehearsals and they said, you know, what do you want to do in this? And I said, oh, don't worry about it. It's fine. But it actually came to doing it. Mm. I said, hang on a moment. Hang on. I've not really <laughs> thought this through. But it is so uplifting and so mm. empowering that we now just, you know, everything's off and we crack on. It's, um, you know, it's great. We love it. So you get used all, more all used of us to girls it. had we all had you know a bit of a worry about it but every single one of us have embraced it so yeah I mean it shows on the stage I mean you can tell that you're having a lot of fun um, oh, and lot. as you mentioned it's a great cast have you worked with any of the girls before yeah I've worked with Paula Tappenden before yes um and yes we're in Blood Brothers mm. um she played Mrs Lyons and I played Mrs Johnston yeah. um I haven't worked with the other ladies before but I tell you I feel like I have because we've bonded so well yeah and the lovely thing about it is that there's not an ego to be found anywhere we all just crack on and get on with it we share dressing rooms we just do everything together yeah and um it really is a, a, a there's a camaraderie about it that you could you just couldn't make up you couldn't wish for it's fabulous yeah I mean you can you can tell on stage I do have to say that from seeing it last week um it, it yeah. seemed like you're a really close-knit company which is always very nice to say yeah and, and, and I'll tell you what Emma the, the the unusual thing is to have seven women on stage like that all of a certain age all have done certain things and mm. for us to bond as well as we have it's really pretty unusual yeah no it's it's lovely to see um you Good. did mention blood brothers then and i can't not chat to you about mrs johnston i mean i've seen blood brothers a lot of times and it's <laughs> in my top five musicals and i do have to say of all the mrs johnstons that i've seen you are the top of my tree. I mean, oh, thank um, you. I mean the the emotion that and the roller coaster of that role. I mean, it's just stunning. I mean, how how do you dig deep for that every night? I mean, you've done it a lot of times. I mean, it was yes, so hard. I did it. I did it on and off for um, uh, twenty three years. So, yeah. um, but it, it's amazing. I mean, it's so well written mm -hmm. and it's so emotive that you, when you get on stage, you just automatically dive into the emotions. Um, but you find sometimes you find yourself thinking of things that you really wish you hadn't thought of and, right. you know, and horrible things. And you think, don't think that, don't think that. Then it, that makes you cry. So yeah. it's, you know, it's but then as soon as you walk off, it's a glass of wine and it's all forgotten. So, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I mean, how do you because I mean, you all look 
visibly sort of distraught every time <laughs> I've seen it. I mean, the emotion never wanes at all. And I always think, you know, do they go off stage and are they still crying? But it's it's nice to hear that you don't. Oh, gosh, no, no, no. No, I mean, we're all crying and, and you know, really into it when we're on stage. But the minute we, you know, we walk, we bow, the minute we come off, it's all laughing, joking. And, you know, it's, I mean, we're just acting. We're, that's yeah. all we're doing, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's such a beautiful show. We're, I mean, will we, is. will we ever see you as Mrs. Johnston again? I shouldn't think so. I'm 74, oh. so I don't think, I think Mrs. Johnston, my days are well gone, I think. Oh, I think been hung up. oh I'm sure you could still do it. I mean, your voice is superb. <laughs> I do have to say, you're, um, you have obviously, you each have a solo song, don't you, in Calendar Girls? Yes. Um, and it is so wonderful to hear each of you, each of you sing. I mean, do, do you have a favourite bit of Calendar Girls that you love to do? Is it your song in particular or? No, 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 no. There's so much of it that we love mm. to do. Um, the photo shoot scene, for instance, is, you know, is, is we didn't think we'd enjoy it as much as we do. The actual finale, um, we we all get very emotional about mm. it it's, um, because to see all the ladies, you know, the audiences, majority of ladies. Yeah. And to see them all standing up and a lot of them are wearing sunflowers and, you know, it's um, and, and they're older ladies and. Mm. It, it can be very, very, very touching, very emotional. So that we sometimes we dread it because if we're feeling a little bit, you know, oh, I feel a little bit weepy, you know, you know full well you're going to burst into tears at the end. Oh. But um, yeah, there's lots of scenes. I mean, it's so funny as well. You know, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the writing is is fantastic, and of course, the songs are are brilliant. I couldn't yes. stop singing. Um, I can't think what the song's called now, but the one about Yorkshire, I, I couldn't stop singing, singing it. The oh, next day. it was God just, bless you, Yorkshire. Yes, it was just in yeah. my head for the most of most of the day. Um, yeah. because, you know, the, the subject matter of calendar girls, I think we've all we've all met somebody or know somebody that's that suffered um, with cancer. So it, it's a really emotive show, um, as you say. But it's it's just so uplifting as well at the same time. Do you feel do you feel that that's right? Oh, gosh, yeah. I mean, it's, um, you know, we actually, all of us, we pass comment that we all look forward to coming into work. And that doesn't happen very often, I can yeah. tell you. Um, <laughs> but we all look forward to coming into work and we look forward to being on stage. And we, you know, it's, um, it is a lot of fun, even though there are some very touching and very, ups not upsetting, but um, sad, yeah. a, you know, especially when um, John dies. But yeah, um, yeah. yeah it, it that doesn't take away from the fact that it's, um it's an uplifting, as you said, an empowering show. It's just, you know, a joy, an absolute yeah. joy. I it love is. it. Oh, absolutely. And, and it's a big tour that you're going on. What what are your thoughts on touring? I mean, I know you've probably done it for most of your life, um, but do you love it or hate it? Hate it. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely hate it. Oh. I, um, I love the audiences. I love the work. But being away from um, my husband and, and son, mm -hmm yeah especially and of course my father who's 96 so oh, it's wow. um it's you know it's 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 not it's not something I particularly want to do but if you want to work yeah then you have to do these things you know and um I do enjoy working and luckily I've got my son is with me at the moment he's um well he's down at the travel lodge actually but oh, right. in bed <laughs> he had a, he had a skin full last night so he's oh, suffering nice. today <laughs> yeah he was at the Greek restaurant with us but anyway um <laughs> and then we went to the casino can you believe that but anyway oh, wow. yeah. so yeah my and my husband is he's staying with me until next week and then my husband's mm -hmm. coming up on Thursday so they I, I'm very lucky that they come and and uh, be with me for a lot yeah I mean I mean your career has been I mean I can use the word full because it has been full since you know your new seeker days up until now I mean you, you seem to have never never stopped working which which is always great. I mean, has there been a highlight of your career so far? Career-wise, um, the highlight would be, well, I, I had a lot of highlights when I was with the New Seekers. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, you know, we were at um, Nixon's inauguration, which, and we were the first uh, non-American um, act to ever appear at an inauguration. So that was quite something, doing the Royal Variety. But yeah. I think the biggest thing for me personally has been Blood Brothers, mm. because I always wanted to act and never thought I would ever get the chance. And I wrote to Bill Kenwright and asked him if he would um, see me for the role of Mrs. Johnston. Oh, wow. And I got a letter by return post. And uh, three weeks later, I was on the stage waiting to start rehearsals. And I'd never acted in my life. So that oh, was wow. a big, t he changed my life. He gave me a brand yeah. new career later in, in my life, you know. So um, yeah. I'm so grateful for that. 
so wow. Blood Brothers would be a, a, a big highlight for me. Yeah, I mean, I do think that you might say that because it's just an, it's still an iconic show. I mean, it's still, you know, it still does so well um, all over the shop. So, yes, I, I kind of oh. think you might say that. <laughs> well, absolutely. And, and uh, you know, especially when you've been a pop singer and yeah. then you've travelled up and down the country doing all the working men's clubs and all the clubs and things like that, to actually be taken out of that and given a brand new career by somebody who he didn't even know what I could do. Right. You know, he just took such a huge gamble. So, yeah. of course, um, I'll be eternally grateful for that. And, and it changed my life. Yeah. So so you, were you the first ever Mrs. Johnston? No. Um, oh, my God. Barbara. Oh, gosh, I can't think of her other name. Barbara Dixon. She was. was yes. Barbara yes, Dixon was the first. Yes. yes. Right. She was the first. And um, I then eventually came in. Mm. Um, but there had been three or four Mrs. J's. Kiki D. Yeah. Um, so, um, but I came in and, and I was very lucky because he just kept asking me to come back. So I'd go away and do something, and then he'd ask me, "Would I come back?" And I was for twenty three years in and out of it. So, <laughs> wow! How could I? How could that not be a highlight? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So you're, as I mentioned at the top there, you're in Birmingham till tomorrow. Um, then yes. you're off out back on the road, Liverpool, Milton Keynes, a lot of yes. different, um, a lot of different destinations. Do you, do you find that the audiences respond differently to the location that you're in at all? Yes, very much so. Um, you know, sometimes they're very, very quiet whilst they're watching it, and you think, oh my god, you know, yeah. they're not enjoying it. And then at the very end, they're screaming and standing up and yeah. waving and everything, and you think gosh they they were enjoying it all the time we just didn't know other times they're right the way through they're you know noisy and and clapping and thoroughly enjoying it I mean yeah. and especially in Yorkshire you know yes. you can imagine can't you yes of course so, um, yes because we did Sheffield and that was something else yeah. you know that was great yeah, because I, I would imagine, you know, it's a women's institute sort of trip out, isn't it? I would imagine. It is. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Yeah, we've had photographs taken with the women's institutes all over the place. So, yes. Yeah, we, we some came in this week, so yeah. which was nice. And last week. So oh, it was how great. Lovely. How lovely. Yeah. And do you do any sort of jam making or cake making? <laughs> oh, Emma, please. <laughs> I struggle. We had a pub once and my husband and son decided in their infinite wisdom that I would cook in the kitchen for the people that came in. I struggled to cook for the three of us. So where oh. they got this idea from? No, I don't bake. I don't make jam. No. I do like sewing, though. So I I, oh. I do sew a lot. So, okay. so yeah. you'd be the one that would buy the cake from Marks and Spencer's then? Oh, in a heartbeat. <laughs> yeah, me too, me too, probably. Yeah. But anyway, thank you so much for having this chat with me, Lynn. I know you've got a show to get to shortly. Um, it's yes. been an absolute pleasure. Um, as I say, I, I am a I'm a bit starstruck, if I'm honest, because, you know, Mr. <laughs> Johnston for me and Blood Brothers and everything, I, it's one of my favourite shows of all time. So I just want to say thank oh. you for that, because it was such a well, beautiful role. Thank you. Well, thank you for having me on. It was lovely to see you. You're more than welcome. Take care. Take care.